What's going on guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's going on everybody? It's good to see you back. Now, here lately, we've been kind of all over the grid with this thing, man. We done did pawn shop guitars, kit guitars, Amazon guitars, eBay kits, eBay guitars, Gibsons, you name it, we've been doing it. And a bunch of you guys like that pawn shop thing. Yeah, I saw a bunch of comments you guys saying, man, I wish you'd do that a little more. Well, I'd like to introduce you to the brand new Pawn Shop series that we're going to start right now. Yeah, we're going to go and start this little series right now. Because I didn't buy just one guitar in Tennessee. I bought two. This guitar we fit to look at was 85 bucks out the door. 420s and a 5, cash money, out the door. Now, I didn't buy them from the same Pawn Shop. Took a little digging to come up with both of them. And it's in a little better shape than that Mockingbird was. It still got all of its knobs in the... Tone knob ain't pushed in and it's got all its strings. But again, we're going to do the same thing we did last time. I'm going to show you the guitar the same way I would have looked at it in the pawn shop. And then you're going to tell me if it was worth 85 bucks. And I'm thinking these type guitars get looked over far too much because people just don't want to fool with them. Or they've been told they're trash. Or for whatever reason. But today, we're going to lay all that to rest, I believe. And I'm talking about this. And what this is is the Viper 50 from LTD with some super green frets <laughs> but they're not sharp I mean I've already done check that out doesn't have sharp frets I mean I dig that headstock I'm just not seeing a ton of nicks and dings on this paint either hardly see anywhere yeah, it's looking pretty good to me. I mean, it's like everything's working, everything's tight. What's that? Little discoloration on the fretboard there. But I don't hardly see any fret wear. I see a bunch of ugly on the frets, but I don't see any wear. And again, I'm just not seeing a ton of scratches or dings or dents on this thing. Got a little contoured heel there. Yeah. 85 bucks. It's got the ESP logo on the neck plate. ESP logo right at the blue for the neck. Made in Indonesia. ESP branded tuning machines. I'm starting to get Fessly vibes. Yeah, I'm just not seeing why this guitar sat in the pawn shop for so long. Because, see, that was part of the reason I got that guitar for 85 bucks. Because I could clearly see on the tag it had been there since May of 2023. They probably gave some poor sap 40 bucks for that guitar. And I feel sorry for them because from what I can see, that's 85 bucks all day. But in the pawn shop, I'm going to get to play it a little bit. So let's get it off the table and play it unplugged. LTD Viper 50 for 85 bucks. Yeah. Let's see. Sounds weird. Just a D chord does. Pingy. See if you can see how high the strings are on the fretboard though. <laughs> yeah, quick look down the neck. It's it's like this. It's ringing though. And the strings are so high it's throwing it out of tune on the on the higher strings. Because it has to push the string down so far, it's bending it, causing it to come out of tune. But we can fix that. Yeah, we can fix that right there. That's nothing. But I'm wondering what else is wrong with this thing. It's not going to jump up and tell us itself. So that's going to be enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. We always start with the strings, but I never make you watch it. Let's see what ESP is working with. 
That's really tight. Yeah. And it's clipped on there somehow. No spring or nothing, but well, that thing was clipped on there. Look. Dang. Huh. No markings. And the bridge isn't rattling too much either. No more than we see on Epiphone and Gibson anyway. And it says BLC. And it says SLC or something. I got my good old Reese assistance checker plugged in. And it's already reading a point zero six seven. Let's turn it up. 15, 14, 16, 14. In the middle is 7, 5 something. And the bridge, 14, 38. So this has definitely got some hot pickups in it. Checking the old control cavity. All right, let's see what's here. Ding! Full size 500K. B and A. And it looks like. It doesn't say where they're made. But nice switch and nice wiring job. That's beautiful. That's 85 bucks working. Let's take a look at the pickups. See what we're working with here. Wow, well, wiring's tight. It says R, and they are waxed to the gills. Look at that. <laughs> yep, wax good. See what the neck has in store. And it says F. So what's that? Rear and front, and again, super wax. Look, let's take the neck off. We got a hole under ESP, a little one, huh, really small. Now you can't pick it up with the pocket, but it's nice and tight, definitely, but full of garbage. Not really raised up though, can't tell what kind of body it is, too much paint in the way. And I'm gonna say that's mahogany. We'll look at the truss rod. It's clean. Look at that. All right, let's see this horrendous bow here. Gosh, look at all that air under there. Remember, I was telling you it was going like this. Yep, just pull it towards me. And we'll go with that. Now the next level, let's check these frets. Oh no, off the rip, that guy's clacking all the way across. Oh no. <laughs> yep, we're in for a fret job, I can tell it already. Pawn shop guitar. Wow, clacking. He's just a clacking, clacking there, over here. Let's just do it. I'm not gonna hit the first fret. There's no need to. And I can't really use the Sawzall fret file on this because these are nickel frets or super soft metal anyway and it's just not going to work out if I use that it's going to eat right through it it's only good for stainless steel frets that's looking pretty good nice tape up job you got going on 
Well, thank you. You about to buff them out? Sure am. Let's get it going on. Back frets are gleaming. Thank you for the polish job, Kathy. You're welcome, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, enough of that nonsense now. Remember these spots down here, the black? It's not coming off. And I don't know what that crap is, but I don't like it. It's got my OCD tripping. <laughs> so I'm just gonna scrape, scrape it off there. Real quick like, get that off. I'm not really removing any wood or anything. If you notice, I'm just scraping that black crap off of there, whatever that was. I wanted to believe it was wood grain at first. And this one just may be that line there. The rest of that stuff was junk. You can see the wood grain going through. But the rest of that was some funk. It's all good now. Just got to condition it a little bit. There's links to all this stuff in the description if you need any of it. might know something better. Shoot, tell me in the comments. Now I'm just going to spray some of this guitar polish cleaner on it. Just a little something something. I'm actually going to drench it. You saw it. <laughs> yep, we're going to drench it. Backside too. But just clean up all this mess. All the stuff on it. From somebody else. Some people say that takes the mojo off. But judging from the non-fret wear on this guitar. Didn't have any mojo to start with to wipe off. You know you got to do the back. I mean. Got a little little bit of rash here from somebody having it, playing it. So it didn't just sit around. But she's shining right up. And I could probably buff some of these scratches out, but why? <laughs> I mean, why? If it has any mojo to wipe off, that's what it would be. And then we'll take a fresh towel and it's wiping it off good. Wow, look at that shine. <laughs> a little bit of rash there, see? We care none about that. Let's get this thing put together. All right, check out the ESP LTD. Nice too, huh? <laughs> yeah, nice too. It's a good friend of mine would say. Nice too. <laughs> Very nice. That sounds unplugged. Yeah, it's ringing. Let's turn it up.
bet you can't wait to hear that riff as a song, huh? too syrupy. Listen. Some guys like that ceramic-y sound. got myself a metal ripper for 85 bucks yep 85 bucks out the door man i got that guitar i don't know if you guys like it or not but i sure do and you know i got an old shred buddy yeah old trey shreddings he loves guitars like that there's a link in the description to his channel if you haven't checked him out yet yeah go check him out but that guitar man i'm telling you right now if you can do that little bit of work and it is a little bit of work that i did you're acting like i did this i didn't build a freaking driveway or nothing man i leveled and crowned some frets my wife polished them. I mean, guys, you can do it. Try. Go out there and find you one. Take it home. Beat it up. See what you can do. Might find you a diamond in the rough. I mean, I ain't counting or nothing, but that's two for me. And me and Kathy really appreciate you watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. But until I do see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar. This is a song we just wrote. It is called Fighter at Heart. She grew up in the valley On the outskirts of town She never knew her mama and her daddy was there She's 
dealing with demons Not fit for a child She was raised by the bottle and through it all Somehow she smiles, yeah she smiles She may come from a broken heart, full of broken hearts Though cold and alone, that girl's a shooting star Against all the odds, through faith, strength and God She's got it all, yeah she's no quitter She's a fighter by heart. A fighter at heart. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Now she's 21 and working two hard jobs. Trying to save up the money to go back to college in the fall. When she gets the call And her daddy is gone She puts her dreams on hold She's headed back home So her brother's not alone Not alone She may come from a broken home Full of broken hearts Though cold and alone that girl's a shooting star Against all the odds Through faith, strength, and God She's got it all in Yeah, she's no quitter A winner Straight from the start She's a fighter at heart Her store at the local YMCA. You may come from a broken home, full of broken hearts, though cold and alone. You're a shooting star against all the odds. Through faith, strength, and God, you got it all in. Don't let no one. Straight from the start Yeah, you're a fighter By heart You're a fighter at heart mm -hmm. A fighter at heart